What's up guys, Bernard. I'm here with my uh, 0759 3500. It's my, uh, it's my daily driver. <clears throat> um, this is a follow-up video on my uh, CTS2 Evolution. Uh, right now, I just ran my wires. Mace, get over here. Get over here. Lay down. I just ran my wires for uh, through the firewall for my um, for my uh, EGT. I'm getting ready to uh, go ahead and uh, go to the shop, and I'm uh, getting my uh, my manifold tapped with the probe. Here it is. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, the wire goes, as you know, from OBD2 port. It goes up. I have it tucked in right here. Okay. Before I had this T coming off, it was uh, open. Um, I have that uh, zip tied. Okay. Um, and I have it ran through the back of here. There goes my screen. Um, when I put the EAS cable on for the manifold, I fed it through. I cut a slit. You can see daylight. I could have slid through there. I have my uh, I have my cable. So this is right next to uh, the steering wheel um, drive. I have this. I need to clip that off. Um, I slid a hole through there. Okay, it's not the prettiest thing to do. Um, um, and I am worried about like going to get car washes and stuff like that if I don't never actually I always do my car washes myself So I don't know why I'm worried about it, but you know Lord forbid one day we got a flood and I got to drive through there Then you know water's coming through keep that in mind um, So I have that ran through there for right now You can see it uh, You can see it right there, okay? Um, briefly, I have a zip tied right there. And, um, I went ahead and connected it right here. And this just, um, I don't have two hands available. Oh, there it goes. Boom, boom, there you go. So, okay, so this is the cord to the inside, and this is a secondary cord, the extension, and then this will clip on to, uh, this will clip on, here I'll get it. This will clip on. This will clip on to here. Okay. Uh, and over here somewhere, and they'll tap into the manifold. So uh, I'm in the processes of that. Um, updates on updates on uh, or things that I didn't know going into this that I know now. You will not be able to shift tunes on the fly. <clears throat> Where's my keys? You will not be able to shift tunes on the fly. You want to shift tunes on the fly? Juice with attitude. You can't. You can't do it with this. Okay. Um, um, the screen has been wonderful. Uh, it's really easy to learn. Um, I did a lot of research prior to getting this online as much as I could. I didn't get many guys talking about their five nines the way I'm trying to explain it to you. They didn't really go into depth they were just going in through their screen and you know what not they like and what they suggest or whatever the case is um you can't get uh well i don't know that you can i think if you can some way somehow i don't think it's with this system but um i think you can actually get a customized tune i don't think it's with this system though okay and um um, I did notice that economy tune does give you some good economy. Um, I went from getting about 12, the way I drive back and forth to, you know, to, uh, Contra Costa County back to San Francisco. Um, it's a good 45 mile, 40 mile, you know, 30 to 40 mile trip every morning, but I'm usually trying to beat traffic. So I'm getting, you know, generally, you know, 12 to 12 and a half miles a gallon and then on the way home i'm generally getting about 10 miles a gallon maybe um and this shot me up to 14 repeatedly throughout throughout my day whether i'm in traffic or not i'm 14 and i've seen that for sure so um um i switched a couple of things around 
without without putting that EGT cable in, EGT cable on, um, I can monitor my boost, I can monitor my torque, okay, RPM levels, um, it'll show you when you're, uh, it'll show you when you're, uh, when you um, your, your torque converter locks, it'll show you that, it gives you a bunch of deals, man, okay, you get your transmission temperatures, get your fuel level, um, engine control, uh, engine temp, you give you that, miles per hour corrected, and it give you that, okay? So you got a good number of stuff without getting this uh, EGT cable. Almost after, I mean, I kind of don't really even know what it's going to give me outside of this that I would need. Because, uh, you know, so I was just thinking that I need it. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I bought it already, so I might as well do it. So um, what other things can I tell you about this? Um... um yeah, I mean, I'm able to just start up and go. You know, sometimes I've been in a rush and I have to start my truck up. I don't let this boot up all the way. You know, it just kicks on when it kicks on. As long as I ain't, you know, trying to change a tune right then and there. Yeah, look, guys, when you're trying to change a tune, you really got to sit down for a good 10 minutes, man. You got to be shut down for 10 minutes to go through that process of saving your tune, you know, uh, saving your tune uh uh erasing the the not erasing the tune but saving the tune that you're on you should have already saved your stock tune save the tune that you're on and go put in the other one you know it's a it's a it's a process man you know so um performance i don't even really know how to use this shit still so uh yeah, see, I'm in economy, okay? So, um, I have been on extreme. I've been on extreme. And let me tell you, it's, it, 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 it put me back in my chair a little bit. Um, I got I got uh, brand new injectors in this truck, stock ones. I was going to do like 25% overs or something like that, just to, you know, just to give me a little, a little, you know, a little, a little hot rocket. But um, <clears throat> I didn't, I put... I put the stock brand new. I put BD diesel ones in. And uh, so I'm, I'm pretty good, man. It sat me back in my chair. I got an SMB. Okay, I got the pre filter on there. Um, I got the cleanable one. Um, I got a five inch straight back. Okay. I got the five inch straight. It's the Mega Cap. Um, some other updates. I got a. Um, I got a BMW gooseneck, okay, and, um, and, um, I'm loaded up with fishing gear, <laughs> but, uh, guys, I'm happy with it, you know, um, I got a couple of different tunes to choose from, um, I ha I do do some towing for work, but, uh, I didn't, um, I haven't, I haven't towed yet with this on there, so I don't know how the tow tune works. Um, uh, I don't have any updates for you guys on that, sorry. Um, all I can tell you that extreme is pretty extreme, and I can't, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine that the, uh, the most aggressive one is really doing its thing, so... Um, it put me, extreme, uh, tow, uh, uh, tune 4 put me in my, in my seat, bro. I'm not gonna lie, and I just went from one exit to one exit out of here. So, um, I don't really got too much else to give you on that. Um, yeah, so I'll be back with another one after I get it. Uh, after I, after I get my uh, my manifold tap, I'll let you know what extras it gave me and if it's worth it to me or not. Um, like I said, I already got it. I thought I needed it um, in order for this stuff to go. But I, I got a pretty good significant amount of information without this EAS cable. So uh, it gave me boost. It gave me, if you're one of these guys that just want to monitor your levels, I, I don't even think you need this. Uh, you got you got a bit of good information before you even get this. So I don't. I can't imagine what else it's going to, what else it's going to give me. So, um that I would too much more need other than what I already have. I'm pretty good. So uh, we'll see. I'll be back, guys.